Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is me, Rima. I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Jaylee. And we're guys, we're just having some fun BTS. But yeah, we're back with another video for you guys. And this one, I think we're on a Rangila Street, guys. So this mm -hmm. is a 1990 film. And we were considering, guys, don't hold us to it, but we we're hoping to watch it because a lot of you've been asking us to do song requests and we watched Hi Rama, we put it out there, so at some point the other should be coming out. And right now we have another original versus remake with Mangita Hekya Wobolo. So this is another okay. song from that film, and it's got uh, A.R. Rahman sung by the pop icon. Uh, guys, I know I told you that the Indian pop industry is not popping as much because most of the songs are like coming from movies but mm. Shweta Shetty is a pop singer and she's done some independent music uh, and she's a singer for this one so let's just check it out it's got Amar Khan and of course Oscar winning music director A.R. Rahman Mangta Hekya I'll tell you the meaning of the lyrics probably uh, after we see the original all right, awesome. all right I'm ab about to click it guys but before I click play here you know what you gotta click the subscribe, subscribe button. button if it's red gotta be gray guys because we put out videos every day most of our stuff is copyrighted so your love getting us to 50k is what keeps us going please please help support us did you hit that subscribe button if you did i'm counting on you all right one two three play <laughs> you mysterious mm -hmm. and that's amir khan of course young amir khan <laughs> It's like church music almost, like the vocals with right? nuns and nuns singing. Yeah, of like chorus. And very interesting. Wow. Very cool. Some shadow dancing. Yeah. Yeah. I love a deep voice. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a lot deeper than her other songs. Magic carpet, you have magic couch. 
I like this outfit. Yeah. Let's start off with one of you. <laughs> Emily, do you want to go first? <laughs> sure. I mean, this number just feels like one of those numbers that would be like a cult classic. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's got mm-hmm. so many, so many iconic settings, outfits, like vibes. Like you never know where this video is going. Yeah. But you know, she's going to be dancing her little heart out and looking good. And sometimes that's all you need. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Jill, your thoughts? Man, that was, it was, uh, wow. Yeah, that was really cool. I really liked it. I Just the sheer amount of outfit changes we've seen in the yeah. few videos. We, I'm like, the, the costuming department of these movies are like, they're doing all the work. Like, I think just this video alone, they had so many outfit changes. Um, but the, the settings, the scenery, I don't know who comes up with this, but they're doing a great job. Mm-hmm. Emily made a good point where the singers were just popping it. Oh, yeah. Um, I loved I loved the uniqueness of this. Like, I don't mm-hmm. think I've ever heard a song that was like this. And I, I really, really dug it. It was yeah. a lot of super cool moments, like, especially wearing headphones. I was like, ooh. <laughs> 
I, I think the sound effects for this one particularly, I think, really came through, and I could really mm-hmm. feel A.R. Rahman's magic happening, like mm-hmm. with the ay, 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 and like all the the sound effects. And but I think the song, like with the drum beats and all, of course, the music was superlative. Like it was a yeah, it was a, a yearful experience for us or a melodic experience. If you just even heard the song without the visuals, I think we would have enjoyed it. But what is interesting about the way they choreographed this, like it doesn't look like one coherent song. Like mm-hmm. I could almost feel like it was the four different songs coming together because they changed the set so massively and there wasn't really any common thread except the two characters, right? Like it kind of went from jungle or like kind of went from, I don't know. Like the shadow dancing. The shadow dancing on stage, mm-hmm. uh, like lit up to jungle dancing to on top of some mountain cliffs to on a tree on like just random clouds yeah yeah i think they just were like it was a fever dream yeah yeah the couch yeah yeah, we gotta talk about that scene that (laughs) we gotta talk about the couch (laughs) (laughs) y'all that was um yeah whole new world uh you know indian (laughs) style i don't know whole new couch (laughs) yellow couch that was a small couch too that they would be falling yeah Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> that was like it kind of just took me back to like those old movies of superman and like with lewis lane like kind of traveling mm-hmm. and the you know with yeah but um i don't know like i think they just kind of had a free reign with this and i kind of like it when people go funky and just experiment and do whatever mm-hmm. i think the actors were having fun doing that sort of uh i guess it's contemporary dance form right emily like they were doing all these like different mm-hmm. moves and just kind of I don't know, having fun together in their purple outfits and then their black yeah. and white outfits. And then like those men with sticks, like I like that one. I think I like the black and white where they have the suspenders and they were like mm. dancing. I thought that was a cool vibe. Um, and uh, yeah. All right. So I have some lyrics here or like some translations. So hopefully it'll make, give us some sense. So it starts off with magic, magic, magic. Cause it goes, jadu, jadu, mm. which means magic. And then goes into, Hey, you, Tell me what do you want? Yes, tell me. Do you want the moon? Then take it. This evening is beautiful. My magic is such that you'll get whatever you want. And then it mm-hmm. says, um, then it goes into like, you know, that Deco Deco Suraj, like that part. But going into look at the sun, these flowers and the sunlight, all of these belong to you. Oh no, I have no use of them. I'm just crazy for you. Hey uh- you. Yeah, then it goes, tell me, what do you want? Yes, tell me, hey, you. Then it says, please listen to what my condition is. Beloved, sometimes you should think about giving your heart and taking one. Listen, listen, try to understand my point. And then that whole time when they were doing like that magic sofa ride, it was... Magic sofa. (laughs) <laughs> come i'll show you the sceneries i'll get you to meet the beautiful weather then it goes forget the beautiful weather and sceneries come let's unite our heart hey you tell me what do you want yes tell me do you want the moon take it this evening is beautiful my magic is such that you'll get whatever you want so there's a little bit of like dialogue between the two of them playing off each other but yeah hmm curious yeah, because it says "mangta hai kya," it's just sort of a slang way of saying "what do you want," and it's like <laughs> "I can give you whatever you want" type of thing. But yeah, I can sh- give you what you want. I know. <laughs> Come on to my magic couch. <laughs> well, don't go too further because <laughs> you <laughs> might come at. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, but, they're, uh, gonna, they're gonna they're <laughs> gonna us down. I yeah, know. that was that was cool. I really enjoyed that. I, I think for me, the song itself, like just re-listening to yeah, it, this would be something, beautiful. it's beautiful. And uh, Shweta Shetty, shout out to her vocals at the end. Like then she was like doing the high ranges. Wow. That's yeah. Beautiful. And sang. Yeah. And those whistle tones. Ah. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just like that. that. Good. <laughs> All right, guys. So this was the OG and I, I don't know why anybody would want to remake it. I would be scared. I would be scared in my boots to remake this. I You're- imagine it's a, yeah. You know what? There better be a floating couch in this one. If there isn't a floating yeah. couch, then we're turning it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were not uh, too enthused by the last remake we saw, guys. So just putting that out there. But nonetheless, you know, it's a, it's a decent number, but again, compared to the classic. So let's see what they do with this one. This is another pop song, uh, which has been, you know, the Mangta Hekia remade into a pop number. And it has the actors Aditya Seal and Palak Tiwari 
Ganesh Acharya, I think, is the choreographer. Aditya N, Diksha T, and Shirantan B are the vocalists, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, let's just get into Mangta Hekya remake. And we'll give you our honest opinions, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll keep it honest. Um, and we'll see if we like it or not. So here goes. One, two, three. High school. All right. Different. Very different. <laughs> Very different. Very different already. High school musical reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's hard to tell. <laughs> I would guess a Another catchy number. A catchy number, but I don't know if I can compare it to the original. Like, I think it yeah. kind of feels like somebody's cute romance story, kind of getting a teeny boppy version of the original song, like a high school yeah. musical version of the original song. So yeah. it has its charm, I suppose. If you've never heard the original, you can have enjoyed this as sort of like a you know fun. Oh yeah, totally. You know, boppity bibbity number but i i can't compare the two there is something very you know special about that first one i don't know it's difficult it's total, to like totally different vibes it turned into like a yeah. duet yeah. to a big group number like that that's mm. very different but i do yeah. think that the like you like this this one keeps the integrity of the song a little bit more like the chorus right. you mm -hmm. still understand and i think it, it shows the, the the power of the original song like the song is very very catchy and has yeah. a great beat to it that mm -hmm. i think i think they didn't i think they didn't they could have mm, i'm trying not to swear they could have messed this song up a lot yeah. more like a lot yeah more. they you also know, could have put a floating couch in it no true where was the couch which would have helped no couch <laughs> 
no points, on your points taken away. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I I liked. I, I did kind of like the like over the years their relationship. I thought that was a cute little thing. Um, but there's just something about the original with just the unique instrumentation of it. Yeah, that, ugh, I loved. I just I don't know. Like this is the part where sometimes now that we're watching so many numbers, you get ideas. And I was thinking like yeah. what I liked about. I mean, of course, you can compare the vocals, the the music, the composition to the original because you know you've got you know, A.R. Rahman doing his magic and giving us something really unique. So, but, you know, this is a fun number for what it is, but just even coming to the visuals and the choreography and the sets, mm -hmm. I kind of feel what I liked about the original as, you know, I don't know, experimental and all over the place that it was. I liked that it was sort of got that fever dream feeling where you're just yeah. kind of experimenting and you're doing a lot of mm -hmm. contemporary dance and, there was a little bit of, I don't know if there was a bit of tap dance, Emily, like they kind of tried to incorporate a lot of different elements and sets kind of to give you that feeling of this is some kind of a musical, like I could see that on Broadway, like somebody mm. coming together to perform this. And I think reducing it to the context of a college romance or a high mm -hmm. school romance kind of feels to me like a missed opportunity, because I do feel like I would have loved to see with better sets. Because, you know, they were kind of taking some rustic locations in the original, but here they could have really yeah. vamped up. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. this could have been something like spectacular to see with really cooler sets, design, production value. Yeah, they could have gone yeah. with like completely random things like the original, like but the like, couch, you know, modern please. and... I know, yeah. But like, <laughs> yeah, make it look a lot better. I mean, you know, <laughs> the original was very like... You know, I don't know, early days of animation or I mean, whatever. <laughs> I mean, photoshopping and you could have really like, I think what I would have liked, and this is just my thoughts, guys, and you, you don't have to agree, but I mean, I'm talking to the Air Fam here, but um, essentially, like, I thought it would be nice if she was just dreaming and like how it was like, you know, when you're daydreaming about somebody you love and then you just see yourself in all these different contexts dancing mm -hmm. with them or whatever, because, uh, yeah, I like that quality about it, but you know what, uh, they took that route and it's fun. I mean, the two leads, of course, they look very, they're cute. They don't look like they were in high school at all. No. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. They should have picked like, I don't know, maybe the reunion. I don't know, but they, they were not giving know. much older than high school. <laughs> yeah. Especially the guy. I think at first I thought you were saying the girl because the girl could be no, possible. Yeah, the guy was the guy was like, looked like a teacher. I know. <laughs> that did look a bit, yeah, but I mean, you know, they were dancing their heart out and they looked sexy. And I, I mean, for them, they were like kind of tongue in cheek kind of dancing and yeah. like bolo bolo and like doing all that, winking at the camera. So it even looked like they had fun. But uh, yeah, I think that's still, I mean, I think I like the original better, I would say. Agreed. Me too. It, it's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one. When you take up numbers like this and you do a remake, you're, you know, there's going to be a population that's going to be disappointed. But hey, keep experimenting. Sometimes we have agreed that the remakes are <laughs> as good, uh, if yeah. not equal to the original. So that's happened too. Uh, but yeah, this was our decision. Guys, let us know if you agree. Did you like the original or the new one, uh, which was a different vibe? Uh, let us know in the comments below. And if you like your comments, we'll like it, uh, maybe reply to it. And if you're a subscribe to our channel, so do subscribe we might just give you a shout out. So yeah, guys, uh, that was our reaction. Follow Emily, Jaylee, myself, social media links down below, and we'll see you next time. Next time. Bye. Bye.